What's going on guys and welcome to the 57 Xamarin Android tutorial. So this could be, this video is going to be a continuation of the previous two where we actually work with fragments and then we uh, start adding multiple fragments to the frame layout. Now here is where we're actually going to give the animations to those transitions. So if you haven't seen that before, uh, what I mean by that is like this little sling animation, the bounce, and then this one as well. Of course, when you pop back, it'll do the same thing. And then ultimately we'll get to this one as well. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video is basically just making some animations and giving us some, some eye candy to us for us, for their users to look at when they're switching between fragments. All right. So let's go ahead and get started and let's find out how to do that. Now, the, the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to want to actually create an animation folder. So we're going to need to make some animations in, in XML. So let's go ahead and add a folder for that. Now we'll call it anim. And then we're going to need two files. We're going to need a slide in. And then let's make the second one right now is we're going to want to make a slide underscore out. All right. So the slide in, what's going to be happening in the slide in? Well, this is going to be the, the fragment that is coming in. All right. So what we'll do is we'll do let's copy over this since it's pretty much the same for everything. We'll uh, go ahead and we're going to, we're going to animate actually two properties. Okay. So we're going to animate a translate, which is actually going to move the fragment from one position to another. So we're going to do from Y Delta. Remember, this is going to be the one that's coming in. So this is going to be one coming from the top and actually bouncing. So because it's coming in from the very top, where when we talk about why, we talk about the very the top, the very top of the object we're animating. So negative one hundred percent means the the if the if the very top is double the screen basically. So it's sitting on top of the screen, fully invisible, yet ready ready to come down. All right. Now, when we want to actually fully show it, we'll do two Y Delta. And then remember, we're still talking about the, the top of the thing that we're animating, which in this case is a fragment, we'll, we'll say zero. So basically the, the top is at zero, which means that the rest of it is fully visible as well. Now, the, the next thing, the next property we'll want to set is the duration. And that's gonna be in milliseconds. So a thousand milliseconds is gonna be a full second. It's gonna animate. And then we'll have an offset. So we don't want it to start right away. We actually wanted to wait for 500 milliseconds, which will be half a second. And these are all these are all, of course, values that you can kind of play around with and see the different animations that you can come up with. So the next property that we're going to want to actually animate is the alpha. Now it's going to come in to be mostly transparent, about 0 0.3, and then we're going to want to set the alpha to about 1.0 or to to 1.0 to make it fully visible. And then just like the translate property, we're going to want to set the, the duration to a thousand. So one second, and then we're going to want to have the same offset to start a half a second late. And that's to give the other animation that we're going to create a little more time to give it effect because it does have a sling motion. So without this, it's not going to play that little bouncing motion. Okay. So it's not going to do that. And then what makes it do that? Well, the interpolator is what makes it give that effect. Okay. So what we can do is we can actually set the interpolator right here. And what we want to do is we want to actually set it to at Android colon interpolator and then slash bounce is the one that we want. And that's spelled wrong. So now if you want to, to try out some different interpolators, we can, we can look into the reference guide, which is uh, over here. So we can see that this is the one that we use bounce, but we can use accelerate cubic, you know, fast out, linear in, overshoot, cycle, anticipate, which is one we will actually use where the, the chain starts backwards, then flings forward. So it, it goes back from where it's actually originally going to go and then slings forward, kind of like a slingshot. Now, so these are, these are the different ones the framework provides. So go ahead and take a look at this if you uh, want to kind of mess around with some different interpolators. They're really fun to mess with. So there you have it. There's going to be our slide in. Now, our, our slide out, it's going to be pretty similar, except that we're going to be actually implementing it our, our changing the X value. Okay. So notice that the X value, since like the Y value, we're talking about the top, the X value, we're talking about the left side of the fragment. Okay. So the left side is at zero, which means it's fully, it's actually fully visible. Okay. And then it's going to hundred percent. So it's actually going to slide from zero 
and the left side is going to slide to 100%, so fully invisible out of the screen. And then the duration is going to be about 650. So notice that because there's an offset of 500, that by the time the other one starts, this one will actually almost be done. All right. And these are, of course, all values that you can kind of just, just mess with. And then the interpolator, like I showed you in the, in the reference guide, the anticipated one is going to be using it, uh, being used. And that's the one that's, since it's going left to right, it's actually going to, to go back a little more and then shoot to the right, almost like a slingshot, like I said before. So let's go ahead and save that. All right. Now, here is where we're actually going to set the, the, the custom animations. Okay, so this is actually where we want to to apply these animations and tell Android what animations to play. And notice that we have in this in this method, we have four four parameters. We have an enter and exit, a pop enter and a pop exit. The pop enter and exit are the ones that are going to be used for the for the back stack, okay, which we are using. So let's go ahead and have actually specify a in. So what animation is gonna be played when a fragment comes in? Well, slide in is gonna be played when it goes in. And then what animation is going to be played when an, a fragment leaves? So when it's actually hidden or removed or something, then it's going to play slide out. And then these ones are pop enter and pop exit. So when it actually enters in from the stack and then when it exits out from the stack, okay? So we'll do resource and then we'll do resource dot animation. We, we, we could actually have some different values here. However, Let's go ahead and just, you know, just for, for brevity's sake, let's go ahead and just play the same ones, which will be just fine in this case. So here's where we actually set the animations and we want it to play, all right? So pretty much at this point, we can just run it and be able to check out our cool animations now. And this will play for every one, so you can really get creative and have some different animations for different fragments. But of course, you know, this gets the point across, hopefully and point you in the right direction of, of starting to kind of implement your own animations. All right, so we have fragment one as usual to start off with. And then now notice that two slides out. So it's the one leaving and then fragment two is the one that bounces in. And then now when we call fragment three, fragment two is gonna be the ones playing a slide out and then fragment three is gonna be coming in and bouncing and uh, doing the slide in motion. All right, so now notice that when we actually pop it, so this one actually leaves the stack, all right, and then this one actually comes back on. So this one um, is gonna be the one leaving, and then, so it's gonna be doing the, the slide in, all right, and then this one's gonna be doing the slide out, the, the fragment two. So fragment two is the one that actually exits because it's, remember, was put on the stack, so it exits out, and then it plays in that animation where this one actually slides in, so it enters into the stack, okay? So there you have it, guys. I mean, it's not too, uh, it's not too bad, actually, hopefully. I mean, and this is, of course, with XML, so what we're gonna learn out in the next video is gonna be how to do this with the with Fragment 4, okay? So with that, I mean, because it's actually a little bit of different animations that we're gonna be, we're actually gonna be using the View Property Animator in code to get the Fragment 4 effect, the one that popped up from here. And because we're actually going to be moving it and then dragging it, then we're going to be, it's going to require a little more code to give you that cool effect. And because of that, we'll, we'll kind of put it in another video that way. If you want, you know, if you're not really too interested in that and just kind of animating, then this one will, will be just for you. And then if you do want to check out the other one, it's going to be showing you how to pull up the, another fragment from the bottom or really anywhere, but the bottom one seems to be the best part because the loser, the right and the left are kind of designated for the left and right drawers. All right. Thanks for watching, guys.